Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. And before I begin, I would just like to thank everyone that has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to thank everyone who has purchased a reading with me. And uh, thank you to everybody who has commented on my videos. Um, I can't answer everyone. I don't have time, but I do read each and every comment. So thank you so much. This is uh, a general reading. So it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not, please check your moon and your rising sign. And, you know, it's possible that sometimes none of those are going to resonate with you because we are reading for so many people. So simply go check another reader for your messages and check back in another month. Um, the only way to get something just for you is a private reading. Now, this is a love reading for the sign of Taurus for the month of March going forward. These energies can go out to uh, at least six months. Now, your overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles here. So, this tells me that you are moving forward slowly towards your happiness. Uh, this is slow but successful movement forward and you have a plan this card also speaks to finally being able to see things for what they really are know that with this card you're on the right path and please don't give up now there was some sort of challenging uh, situation that you went through in the past because the six of cups is underneath that along with the ten of wands <clears throat> excuse me the ten of wands so that tells me that um, you are at the end of this cycle but you're not quite there yet because you see the home in the distance here he is still a little bit away uh, from reaching that home, from reaching his home, so and, and being able to lay those burdens down. But you are healing with the Four of Swords here. You are stepping out onto a new path, and. You are embodying the energies of this of this queen. You had to in order to step onto that new path. Now this queen here, she uh, she's been through a lot, but she has the power to heal any area of her life, and I believe that you will embody these energies and carry them forward for for whatever amount of time it's going to take you to get through this to be able to lay those burdens down now right here at the beginning I see the betrayal the hurt but it's a ten it's a feeling as though ten swords have been stuck into you and so this is a very emotional situation <clears throat> but this is the end of a difficult time still like the ten of wands you're not quite there yet and you are confused, um, <clears throat> perhaps having second thoughts. There's a lot of hidden influences here. Um, but you can be successful through your own efforts. And you are thinking about turning your back on the past and looking towards the future. But this is a card of waiting.
Now, here we have the Page of Wands. This indicates a lot of messages going back and forth between you and someone else. I believe it's somebody from the past. And this is what's causing all of this confusion. Uh, you don't have all the answers yet. And this is why you're having second thoughts about this, um, what I believe is a separation. There's a lot of secrecy here and a need to take a deeper look at things. And then again, I have the Page of Wands. So there's some sort of news coming to you from this person who caused this Ten of Swords or some sort of reunion. Now, on that I have Temperance. Temperance, she's going to protect you. She's like your guardian angel. And she speaks to you uh, about bringing balance back into your life and having patience and taking the time to heal. Because I have the card of recovery here on her. Whoever this Page of Wands is, or represents, they are definitely the reason that you are having to heal, and why you are so confused, like you're unable to make up your mind. You want, in one sense, you want to turn your, your back on the past. You want to put that betrayal behind you. Now, next to that, I have three kings with the Hierophant. Again, this speaks to me of a triangle uh, situation. Three people, a third party. And this, uh, I think, for whoever I'm speaking to, um, there's a separation or there's about to be a separation. I believe that you've already separated yourself, um, severed the tie. And because the Hierophant, he represents large organizations that have a set way of doing things. He can indicate a separation here. This, his appearance there, be, right between those three kings, can indicate that this is already in the legal system. Three kings also indicate that you are like really protected right now. And temperance also speaks to protection. And we have you here. We have two kings. We have the Hierophant. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Representing Earth sign. And you are an Earth sign. And... Like the cards fell this way, so it shows you being separated here with the Hierophant and the two kings, the other two kings are on the other side of this Hierophant. So I think that you are, have been separated from this triangle. You've severed the tie. Perhaps some of you haven't, but what I see there, the person I'm speaking to, you've severed this tie. You... You were weighing things up, like, how much more could you have continued to uh, put into that relationship? Because you weren't getting anything back. 
um, you sacrificed a lot. And I think in severing the ties, that gave you some sort of sense of victory uh, with this triangle situation here that we see with the devil, uh, unhealthy attachment. But, you know, what the devil speaks to me and what these cards are saying to me is that although you've, you've stepped away, you still feel that attachment. Because on the devil, I have the Six of Cups. So you are still thinking back on this. And you want the truth. You want all the answers. We know you don't have all the answers. And this queen... She's up in her mind and she's planning, she's strategizing. She wants the truth. And you know, uh, this card would indicate uh, what is it that you need to cut out of your life? Well, it's not hard. The answer is here, it's here. Eight of Coins, trying to rebuild your life. Um, paying attention to the details. Um, it can indicate rebuilding a relationship. For some of you, you this reunion could indicate a reconciliation. But... There's a lack of trust here. There are things that are hidden. The high priestess can indicate someone that you do trust who is keeping secrets from you. Somebody wearing a false face. It can also indicate the need for you to use your intuition that gut feeling. What is that gut feeling telling you? Five of Cups. Focusing on the past. And not seeing those two cups that are still standing behind you there. The Emperor. Now I think that the Emperor is this person here, the King of Wands. Somebody very stubborn. I know that, uh, well, you know, uh, the Emperor does represent Aries, and Aries is a fire sign. Um, but it's the type of person who, who's not going to budge. On their decision maybe that maybe you're taking on these energies of this Emperor um, you've made the decision to leave and you're not budging but and it could be but it could also be uh, the person that can represent the devil Maybe somebody who was too controlling. Um, you know, you don't like the way I do things? Well, you know, hey, leave. That type of person. Um, you... I see a, the possibility of a home move. Um, you want to have this new beginning and I believe that this it's still a seed it's, um, it's still in the thought process here 
Um, it's still at the very beginning. And on that card, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, that's a change in fortune, but it can also indicate things coming back around. And we know that we have these two uh, pages up here who do, uh, who can indicate messages going back and forth and can indicate a reunion with someone you know. And then we have the Hermit and the Death card that speaks to transformation. Um, and this is a welcome change. But the Hermit sitting right in between those two, um, and the Hermit is looking at the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like you're tempted. You're tempted by whatever this reunion or communication was. You're tempted because unhealthy attachment, temptation. And you're tempted to go back to this person. But the hermit says, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Now, we have the emperor down here again, and he's sitting right under that devil. You, um, you will need to set boundaries about what you will tolerate and what you will not. And... You know, some of you probably have already done that, and thus you've already left. <clears throat> so now why would you want to go back to that controlling person? Or a person you cannot trust? Because I have here, um, again, three people leaving a situation, not trusting someone, it's right here. Another card, not trusting some, someone or something, not sure about something, uh, dissatisfied with your circumstances. Another card here, mistrust. Communication that comes to you that is is unwelcome but yet brings clarity and this has to do with a commitment next to that i see in, internal conflict for me this card is representing internal conflict and you thinking about the consequences of your actions should you take this person back. And you're weighing things up. You, um, you want a happy outcome. This is a very karmic relationship, I'll tell you that right now. And this is why it's coming back around. And maybe it's come back around more than once. And you don't trust this person. But if it's coming back around, there's something you need to learn. If this is somebody where the cycle just keeps coming round and round, you need to stop that. Because it's like you get caught in a wheel. Now,
here on the exit card, um, I have the Six of Wands. I have um, the Six of Wands is success. The sun here speaks to success. But this is going to be um, through your efforts. And because I keep hearing that in my, in my ear. Uh, through your efforts. Um, you're weighing things up. Do I take this person back? Or do I not? If you're still in that in that position, do I stay or do I go? Uh, you know, depending on your situation. Based on everything I've done so far, is it worth it? Everything I've put into this, is it worth it? So many doubts and so many fears. A feeling of lack, of failure, of loss. Another third party relationship card. But it also represents relief coming in. And I believe that you are going to turn your back on this and you are going to move forward despite the challenges that you know you might face. And you know what? There's good news coming in. Once you make the right decision, you'll see how things change. Because the universe always lets you know when you're on the right path and when you're on the wrong path. When you're on the wrong path, you are going to have mountains to climb to get over. And every time you climb one, you'll hit another one. But when you're on the right path, I'm not saying you won't have challenges, but they're just going to be little bumps in the road and not mountains. And you have the opportunity. The universe is handing you here for a passionate new beginning. And so now to the bottom of the mini Rider Waite deck. I believe that there is an offer coming in for you, but I think it's somebody new. You're hanging in there. And you see all the rods behind them? That's all the lessons that you've learned. But the one that he's holding on to, for me, holds a lot of importance because this is the latest lesson that you've learned. And you are tired and you are weary and you are hurt. That's the, the lesson that you have just come through. But there is an emotional message coming for you. Uh, I believe it's an offer of love. Um, and I have that card again. So um, there is new love coming in for you. And um, it's going to be a very exciting and passionate time for you moving forward. I drew um, an angel message card for you and I got Azul. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. 
And you just happen to have two. So the other one is Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. And the Angel Answers card I drew is Listen to Your Intuition. And this is a very important message. So I thank you for watching, Taurus. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, the details on how to do so are in the description box below this video. Um, many blessings to you. Bye for now.